I've been making a shorter backswing and getting more power with all of my golf shots at present. Want to know how I'm doing it? Keep watching. Do you have a short backswing at present? Can't swing like you used to? You just don't have the flexibility? Maybe you're getting on in age, classify yourself as a senior golfer, and you just can't get this club all the way back up to the top like you used to, and you feel like you're losing power to some of the other golfers you play with? Well, don't worry. I'm in a similar position. I am not as flexible as what I used to be. I'm nothing special in terms of how I can move my body, but I've been able to make a shorter backswing, just somewhere to about there, getting that left arm parallel, and I'm still able to generate some really great power. And if I can do it, you can do the same. And the great news is a shorter backswing can help you become more consistent, make a more repeatable golf swing, and best of all for you, less strain on your body. So what are some things you can do to make this short backswing work for you? Because it's not just a case of going, there's my short backswing, I should be able to play well. There's some important keys you need to do to get the best out of it. And I'm gonna show you them right now. So the first thing I want you to do with your short backswing that's extremely important is making sure you get maximum width. So what I want you to do is jump here to a chair and do this with me if you can. Set up to a ball. You can do this with an iron or a driver or a hybrid. It works just the same. Now, as you make your backswing, I'm going to assume you can either get to there somewhere or maybe even just a tad more, but I'll assume you'll get somewhere there where that left arm is parallel to the ground. What I need you to do is Keep that left arm straight as you rotate your hips and you pull that right shoulder back. And when I do that, you can see there, I'm getting the maximum width. I haven't got my hands in here. I've got the hands out here. I'm getting the maximum width. I'm getting pretty much on that 90 degree shoulder turn, even though the club hasn't gone anywhere near to parallel at the top. So that's what I want you to practice is work on getting the maximum width that you can get from your golf swing right to here. I'll show you from down the line. I want you to do exactly the same. Let's get the club right about there and getting that turn as well. The next thing with a shorter backswing is making sure we get those hands of yours and the arms a bit deeper in the backswing and I'll explain why. As you make your backswing, I need those hands to Get more over this way, more deeper in your swing, not out here, out here. Now, the reason this is super important for a short backswing is if you have your hands too, too much out here, on the downswing, you need to shallow it. You need to get out here somewhere. It's a lot more difficult from here to get back to here, unless you do some sort of Jim Furyk move. And we don't all have the same talent as Jim Furyk does, but if you're here, you've really got to do a lot more work. But for you, what I want you to do, get those hands a bit deeper over here and get a flat lead wrist if you can, get them a bit deeper and that'll make it much easier to shallow, much easier to shallow and get into that great impact position. This, this angle won't show it as good, but the idea is get them a bit deeper and then shallow. Now, tying in with that when you make your backswing from down the line view here, I want you to try and get that club pointing more down the target line or even laid off. So it'll look something like this. See, the club's more pointed down the target line. Even a bit out here is okay, but I don't want you over like this. Once again, the further you are out this way, the more you've got to do to shallow the golf club. Because it's a short backswing, I need you to get that backswing in a great spot at the top, to make it easier for the, for the downswing for shallowing. So extremely important, get those hands a bit deeper and you do get that club pointing a little bit more down the line. It's vital that you don't let your arms pass your body with a short backswing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I'm set up here, as you make your backswing, you don't want your hands and arms to just pull the club inside. You can see my body's still pointing out this way, but the club has gone way behind me. I need you to try and turn and keep everything in unison. It's important in a longer golf swing, but in a shorter back swing, it's vital. So what I want you to do, 
And I'm going to show you a drill in just a second that will tie this in for you, make it really easy. So don't miss that. As we set up here, as you turn, everything moves together. You can see here, I've got the club virtually pointing straight at my belly button. I've, I've moved everything together. I've kept the club out in front of me. Extremely important when you're making a short backswing. This angle here, let's keep the club, everything moving in one piece to there. And how you can practice this is put your right arm across your chest and as you make a turn, holding the club with your left hand for a right hander and just feel it all moving together. I don't want this club down here somewhere. I want you to turn, keeping it all together in one piece. And another drill you can do is a belly button drill is put the butt of your club right in your belly button, hold it down in golf posture and make a turn, keeping it all moving together in one piece. So from this down the line view, everything moves together. Great drill for you to practice for that short back swing, getting you more power. Feeling the weight of this golf club is a great feel for you to have with a shorter back swing. So if I'm over one here, feeling that weight of that club can help you generate more speed on that downswing as well. So as I make my connected turn, I'm really feeling the weight of that club. I'm not forcing it, I'm just letting the club move on its own and letting my big muscles and my core rotate all together in one piece. When you feel the weight of that club head, that it enables the club to sort of drop easier on that downswing and generate a bit more speed. So you're not losing anything by having that shorter backswing. And the beauty is you'll be able to hit more center face contact shots, driver, irons, hybrids, even by making that shorter backswing. You've probably seen guys like Tony Finau, John Rahm, Tommy Fleetwood, particularly with his irons, has a very short swing. He only gets it to maybe three quarters or two thirds. If you have a look at those guys, they get somewhere to there. And I've been doing this lately, especially with my irons, and I'm finding I'm hitting them a lot more solid and the ball is traveling just as far. And my dispersion rate, the difference between my good shots and my bad shots has improved immensely. So I want you to think of this as a positive, not a negative, that you can't swing the club back as far because you can seriously still compete with longer um, hitters of the ball and not be at a disadvantage. So it is a real key for you to um, practice this and build it into your game. A great little tip to, again, improve this short backswing so you get more out of it. When you're at your setup, make sure your feet, I see this all the time on the golf course, golfers have their feet pointing straight ahead of them. Make sure you flare them out, in particular for the short backswing, this trail foot, this right foot for a right hander. When you flare it out a bit, it just makes it so much easier when you make that, that turn away to rotate. If you do the opposite and have this foot turned in, you'll see it's difficult for me to really turn from this position here and get this backswing coil. Make sure that trail foot is flared out. It will just take a lot of stress off your joints as well, particularly your hips, and just enables them to freely make an easier turn. It really is a lifesaver. I want you to practice that one. And drop a comment down below if these tips are helping you out, make sure you smash that like button. Consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate that. But I want you to practice these and drop me a comment down below after you've done that and let me know if they've helped you out. I want to show you a practice drill you can do right now that you can help build this into your game. Here's a practice drill you can do to help build this into your game. I practice this one all the time. Simple and easy. You can do this no matter what handicap you're on at present. So what you're going to be doing is obviously making a short backswing. We're going to get to about here. And as we come through, I want you to really focus as you rotate. Important you're rotating through. I want you to get that 
arms straight as you finish. Extremely important as you come through, you strike the ball, go through to a straight release there and up to there. You can do it even shorter if you like, but this helps build timing and great repetition into your swing. Let me demonstrate one for you. So I'm just going to be going nice and short, just to about there, maybe a tad higher and through. And I'm going to feel like I'm stretching those arms in my finish like this. That's how all the pros look on their downswing just past impact. So let's hit one. Nice and easy. Pretty good strike. And if I just turn around here, this is kind of the position I was finishing in with those arms nice and extended, nice out straight. Give that a try, that will help you out. If you want to play even better golf, this next video is a much watch. It's up here, another one up here. This first one will go through separation in the downswing. This is key to getting you even more power, and this ties in with this short backswing video. Make sure you watch it. See you next time.